All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this domino isometric 3D text effect here in Illustrator inspired from the Inkscape banner. Step one, let's select the rectangle. Let's create a rectangle like this, and I'm going to make it a rounded. Let's go also to the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill, so it's going to be on the top. Let's select a color for it. I'm going to go with a light gray. Press and hold Alt and drag it to create a new duplicate. And I'm going to select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter R. By the way, I went with the mango grotesque. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. Right click, create outline, and I'm going to put it on this rectangle. Something like this. Select both. Let's go to the properties and go to Pathfinder. Click on minus front. Now I'm going to select the first rectangle and let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, extrude and bevel. And we're going to go to the position, click on isometric left. And here at the extrusion depth, you can increase or decrease. I'm going to go with 44, for example, click OK. And we're going to need to copy paste this 3D extrude and bevel to the other rectangle with the letter. So in order to make it fast, we're going to go here to the graphic style. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select the graphic style and just drag and drop this rectangle with the 3D extrusion right here. And here you have the new graphic style. So all you need to do is select the second rectangle with the text and let's go to the graphic style with the 3D extrusion and look at that. Now we're going to need to decrease the extrusion of this. So let's go back here to the options, click on it, and we're going to decrease the extrusion, make it thin. I'm going to go with 15, click OK. And now I'm going to bring the letter R, the other uh, rectangle. I'm going to select both, go to object, expand appearance. You also can pixel peep it if you want. But right now this is pretty good. Select both, right click, on group, right click on group, and we're gonna need to unite these. I'm gonna select this one, press and hold shift and also the shorter one. And we're gonna go to Pathfinder, click on unite to do the same thing with the rest. From here, we're gonna need to recolor these. So I'm gonna select these two shapes and I'm gonna go to the colors and just, and I'm also gonna select all of it and I'm gonna add some strokes. So click on the stroke here. So it's gonna be on the top right now. I'm gonna select the black color and I'm gonna decrease the stroke thickness to 0.5. Now let's go to the fill, click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top and this way you can recolor it one by one. And this is how you make this a really cool 3D extruded domino text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.